In this problem, we have minus 3x to the fourth power plus 6x cubed minus 2x squared plus 4x divided by x minus 2, and we need to do synthetic division on this problem. So the first thing to point out is that because we have something in the form of x plus or minus number, we're allowed to do synthetic division on this. Now the next step in synthetic division is you take the number in the denominator, that minus 2, and you flip it to a plus 2 for the sake of the synthetic division table. So let's set up that table now. I'm going to have a 2 on the outside. And then you want to write the coefficients of all the terms in the numerator from left to right, from the highest power to the lowest power. So the highest power is x to the fourth power. Its coefficient is minus 3. Then we have plus 6 on the x cubed. And we have minus 2 on the x squared. And you have plus 4 on the x. And then be careful, we're not done yet. There's also a plus 0 here, so be very careful. Even the constant term needs to be added into the synthetic division table. So I'm going to have to add a 0 here. Then now we're ready to proceed with synthetic division. So let's do it. First thing you do is you always drop down the leftmost number inside that table. So the minus 3, we drop that down and leave it there. Then now you multiply and add. 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. Now do minus 6. Now you add these numbers. 6 plus minus 6 will get you 0. Now you multiply 2 and 0. 2 times 0 is just 0. Now do minus 2 plus 0. That's just going to be minus 2. Now do minus 2 times positive 2. That'll just get you negative 4. And then do 4 plus negative 4. That will get you 0. Now do 2 times 0. 2 times 0 is just a 0. Then 0 plus 0 is just obviously 0. So now we have all the coefficients in our answer. So notice how the highest power in the numerator was x to the fourth power. Therefore, in our answer, the highest power is going to be x cubed. So we start with x cubed. So this minus 3 is the coefficient on x cubed. The 0 is the coefficient on the next highest degree, which is x squared. And you just keep going on like this. Therefore, minus 2 is the coefficient on x. 0 is just plus 0. And our remainder is 0 because that's the final number in the next division. So this is like saying 0 divided by x minus 2 because you take the remainder and you divide it by the denominator in the problem. And then let me just go down and make this more clear. So therefore, our answer is minus 3x cubed plus 0x squared minus 2x plus 0 plus 0 divided by x minus 2. Now, there's a lot of zeros in this problem, so let's just clean this up. So we have minus 3x cubed minus 2x. And that is the answer if you do minus 3x to the fourth power plus 6x cubed minus 2x squared plus 4x divided by x minus 2. And then I want to point out that because the remainder is 0, we can say that x minus 2 is indeed a factor of minus 3x to the fourth power plus 6x cubed minus 2x squared plus 4x.